So we're ready to uh, restore this uh, puzzle to cubic form. Now, I, I don't really have a, a good um, algorithm for you, uh, or even a strategy for that matter. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what I what I try to do here. My approach is just to try and get things back into as cubic a form as possible um, using uh, different uh, different moves. And I basically I'm trying to put back as much as I can, and um, and then hopefully. Uh, see so all right so it's starting to look uh, pretty good uh, that's a corner and we can actually put this uh, piece back in the corner now you notice this is uh, a, a single edge and we have to try and pair that up with another edge I see one there but I'm not going to worry about that for now just uh, first of all I'm just going to uh, put back uh, this corner so it's really quite helpful if what I do to put put a Corner. I'm calling it a corner, sorry, edge. I find it helpful to put an edge uh, in the front right uh, edge here. And when you do that, you're going to dislodge one from down here. So uh, in order to uh, to put an edge back into position on the uh, back left corner, it's helpful if you have the same um, an edge sticking out the top and the bottom. Okay. So what I do then is I turn the uh, E layer 45. Uh, five degrees. That is uh, an E minus turn using the notation that uh, Andrea came up with on uh, Twisty Puzzles form. So an E minus 45 degree uh, uh, turn of the E layer. And so then we can put that down and at the same time it also brings the uh, the uh, edge from the bottom to the back. And then you can put it back. So now those corners are in place. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around and try and uh, solve as many of these as possible. And uh, now I can, this uh, corner is twisted and I can actually uh, fix that. I really have to start calling it an edge, sorry. There you go. And that was uh, fixed. Now, I'd like to put this one edge that's sticking out in this slot, but if I do that, uh, I'm going to dislodge this and it creates a, a, a dilemma for me. But uh, the fix for that is um, to do an E minus so that I make these corners, uh, these edges stick out, and then do a sort of an S layer turn and then put everything back. And uh, what, it, what that does is it gives you a an edge on the top and the bottom. So now you can go ahead and fill that spot. Now, if there's already an edge there, it would be better for me to take uh, an edge where it, there's not a proper edge piece and put it in the back left. Okay, there you go. Okay. So it's starting to uh, get back to cubic form here. I can uh, just get that corner out of the way uh, edge. And, uh, and there we go. Okay, we're not going to worry about the um, inner pieces or their orientation for now, which is a little different from the way I solved the mix-up plus 3x3 three three version. Um, it just seems a little easier to do it uh, this way first. Okay, and now uh, I'm going to put this one in place, and we, we just have a single one there, but that's okay. That we'll we'll uh, fix that uh, later on. I think it's just easier to have everything back, more or less, in in cubic form. There we go. So it's looking pretty good. I have this uh, here. Oh, I have that one. I think uh, right now, uh, what I can do, uh, what I want to do is turn this in the uh, proper orientation which will be uh, there we go I think I've got that okay. and I've managed to dislodge a couple more of these uh, corner pieces but that's uh, that's okay edge pieces uh, what I want to do is show you how it's uh, possible to uh, join up two single um, edge pieces. But in order to do this, I can't have any other uh, any other edges sticking out. 
So uh, one of the ways I could do that is uh, um, I think um, did that work? Uh, no, I'm going to have to put these uh, these ones back in their places before I can uh, can do that. Let's see here. Okay, so what I'll do, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two uh, half finished edges. I'm going to put them on uh, in the front right and on the back left, and then I'm going to replace them with uh, these at this regular corner here edge here and first I'm going to do my trick where we pop out a couple of extra edges and uh, so now I have a top and a bottom edge and I can go ahead and replace those whoops let's get them lined up here and you'll, you'll see what this accomplishes uh, as soon as I'm done here what I've accomplished is I've knocked these two out and now they're on opposite sides of the cube and there's nothing around here that I'm going to break if I turn them turn this 180 degrees so I managed to pair up these two uh, corners edges <laughs> yeah. now I'm going to have the same difficulty I had before uh, with uh, putting this back into place but um, it's not so bad here because I can I don't mind popping this one out because it's uh, misoriented anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that uh, edge in and now in order to uh, finish this off I am gonna have to uh, push a couple of uh, new edges out of their orbits here and uh, this little trick this kind of uh, well, this little trick usually works you have to uh, put empty uh, um, empty spaces in the uh, where the edges would go. Okay, so I'm going to uh, so I think uh, by now you probably realize that uh, restoring this to uh, cubic form is uh, the most difficult part of the uh, solve for me. And uh, indeed, uh, it is. It's just uh, you know I do I do find it uh, uh, difficult uh, because I don't really have a good strategy. It's just a matter of uh, learning, uh, doing it enough times, and uh, just sort of coming up with a really good, solid strategy. I mean, I do have a strategy, and I suppose if I wasn't talking <laughs> at the same time, it would be perhaps a little easier. As you see, I managed to somehow uh, break the the piece that I assembled. Um, okay, but uh, hopefully it, I think I've I think I've got it this time. Okay, so now we should have three empty spots. We do. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, this one where it belongs here. There we go, and. Uh, I don't know quite why I don't normally have this particular problem. Okay, we have an empty spot. Okay, and I guess I get to start again. Okay. That's not going to knock anything out. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, back to... <laughs> we were here before. Okay, why is this happening? It's... Uh, I don't normally have any problems at all doing this. Um, except what's happening here... Let me see here what I'm doing. I normally just uh, I normally do this and I get two. It it puts one away and I get two out. So yeah, huh. okay. Um, so this is what I was trying to do. I have a hole here and a hole here. I have an edge. 
Okay, so we're back and uh, now what I managed to do, I have uh, one edge sticking out uh, on the top and one on the, one on the top, one on the bottom. I have a hole here and I made myself a hole here. And so it's just a matter of twisting it around. There we go. So now I have it more or less back into cubic form and the puzzle back into cubic form. And now I will uh, uh, pair up the, these uh, inner edges and use an algorithm which was posted on the Twisty Puzzle Form uh, by uh, D. Kwan. It's been a very helpful algorithm. I used to do this using um, sort of an intuitive block building method where I would, would pair up uh, groups of these and, and then use uh, slice turns. It's a very uh, tedious uh, way to do things. Uh, the algorithm what the algorithm does is it uh, flips uh, the top uh, back and the uh, right front. Uh, it just it, it flips them flips them around so that they're they lie flat. And the algorithm is uh, like this. It is um, so it's E plus, which is a forty five degree uh, E turn, and it's M plus, which is a 45 degree M turn. It's uh, F2, then a 45, and then an M minus, then a uh, B, a B, that's a standard 90 degree B turn, then an M plus, uh, F2, M minus, um, B prime, so counterclockwise, B, and then uh, an E minus 45 degree E turn, and you'll see that one's flat, and that one's flat. Okay, so now um, there's a lot less clutter on the uh, puzzle, and I can just do the same thing. I have one here, and I have one here, and so we'll do the algorithm again. So it's going to be E plus, uh, M plus, F2. M minus B M plus F2 M minus B prime and E minus and again I not quite sure what I did there but uh, anyway uh, we have uh, we, we flattened that one, and I, maybe I made a mistake there. Who knows? Okay, and but that's fine. So we'll flatten these two. E plus, M plus, F two. Now the puzzle does uh, work quite quite well. It's quite smooth, but um, if it's not perfectly aligned things will jam up a little bit and it's I'm sort of holding in a bit of an awkward way for the for the camera so it, it's locking a little bit more than it would so that was my F2 um, M minus uh, B M plus F2 M minus B prime and then uh, E minus, and I don't know, we got that uh, strange thing there uh, again, but it is uh, it is uh, flattening them out, and I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I have one piece here. Now I'm going to have to uh, join a couple of these uh, pieces using uh, slice turns, little inner layer turns, and so, so I just uh, joined those two, and that's fine. And I can just use my regular uh, rubric. There we go. Okay. So, and I'm going to flatten those two. So, the plus M plus F2 M minus B. M plus F2 
M minus, B minus, E minus, and there you go. We got that. Okay. And uh, so we will do a couple more of these. Let's see. Okay, I have that. And then uh, we can actually. Okay, so we'll flatten those two. And things are going to work out uh, work out for us here. Now I have this one and this one to uh, join up. And uh, so in a case like that, you can just uh, move the piece out of the way and then uh, bring that slice back. Okay. So there you go. So we will do this uh, and E plus. M plus F2 M minus B M plus F2 M minus B prime E prime and we have the puzzle back to cubic form and that truly was the hardest part of this uh, whole thing. The rest will be uh, fairly straightforward. Now, there's one parity case and I will show it to you right now. So uh, there is uh, one parity case that you may get. I think I'm gonna call it a parity case. It's just a, a quirky situation when you're restoring the uh, four by four mix up plus uh, to cubic form. And the quirky situation is you'll have two inner edges uh, inner edge pieces that are um, misoriented just to there's there's not another set this doesn't happen on the uh, three by three mix up plus you'll always find the inner edges are uh, misoriented in pairs but in this case uh, you can just get uh, two and our algorithm as uh, I've been showing it to you always flips around four of them so the solution to this is um, it, it's actually not hard to solve it's just not obvious what you need to do what we're gonna do uh, remember that we need four of these sticking out and our algorithm will only um, will will actually flip uh, four if we just try this we'll end up with just one sticking out on the other side so the uh, strategy the solution is to just knock one of these out of the way and uh, just, just not put it put it on the other side of the uh, cube just out of the way and then we'll run the algorithm that flips these and what we'll end up with we're going to put this one back and then we're going to knock loose three and then we have our fourth one over here so i'll do this so the algorithm then we just have this these are flat and this other one's flat but we'll, we'll do it so it's e plus m plus f2 M minus B M plus F2 M minus B minus E minus and what do we have I have two here and I have two here and it's just a matter of uh, joining them up now I've uh, caused myself a problem because I I notice I have these these two are attached to each other and they really need to be separated but that's uh, that's pretty straightforward that's an E turn and now I can I go ahead and join these together there so I have the uh, the U layer in the back and uh, oops I have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of manipulation maneuver it there so front uh, right front up back and now I will do the algorithm E plus M plus F2 M minus B 
m plus f2 m minus b prime a minus and there you go restore to cubic the hardest part and uh, next we will uh, join the inner edges we'll match them up with their corresponding edge edges